going on, everybody? It is May 21st. It is a Thursday. Hope you're doing well. So we got some Batwoman information. We finally know what happened. I knew this would come out. It wouldn't take more than a few days. Some source was going to come out and say something. It appears we finally have some information. There's been a lot of people talking about this. Uh, some people say she was fired. Some people say that she quit. And there's some truth to both of those. It looks like it was a mutual decision. They didn't like her and she didn't like them. And that kind of makes sense. It's not as juicy as we would hope it would be. you know. But we at least have an answer now. And I think this is the definitive answer. And we have some... We have some some closure now, though I'm wondering, so I'll get into it as I read the article, but there was some interesting stuff in here, and I'm just wondering if there's going to be some interesting stories that will come out from this, because reports are she wasn't happy, and that made her miserable to work with, which is one of the reasons why they, they both, the studio and her, wanted her gone. So I think there's some interesting stuff here. And then in the future, there's going to be the new Batwoman. That could potentially be pretty hilarious in itself because they're they're paying they're they're putting themselves in a corner here with the hiring for Batwoman. If you remember when she first was hired, uh, there was a big controversy surrounding her because Ruby Rose, from what I understand, uh, likes dudes and chicks. Okay, that's not good enough because remember Batwoman is only into the ladies, so. She wasn't good enough, if you know what I'm saying, to play Batwoman. That had a there was a big old thing on that. She had to leave the she had to leave social media because all of the NPCs were all over her and and <laughs> made her life miserable online. She had to leave. It just shows how brutal those people can be. They're nasty. And I think that that probably was one of the reasons why she left the, that community that they're trying so desperately to court for this show, which by the way, they don't show up and that's why the ratings were terrible for the show. So it's going to be interesting to see who they cast for the new Batwoman, because if she's not into the ladies enough, it might not be enough for them. And then of course, I'm also going to go ahead and predict, you know, What's the replacement got to be a white lady? You know, why's it, it got to be another one? That's also a thing. So it'll be really interesting. Whoever they pick isn't going to probably be good enough for the people they want to please for this show who don't support it anyway. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, let's go through this and talk about it. So Ruby Rose wanted off Batwoman and no one was going to stand in her way, although the actress... The actress's sudden surprising departure from the CW superhero drama after just one season was framed on Tuesday as her choice and her choice alone. Sources confirmed to TV Line that the split was at best a mutual one. Midnight's Edge made a really good point in their video, which I watched yesterday, talking about how the way that this has been framed, it's obvious that it wasn't just her choice. Uh, they said it was a firing. It still could be. I do think that it was a breakup, which is how it's described in this. I think she was miserable and wanted out, and they wanted to get rid of her, so they decided let's just part ways. So here we go. It wasn't 100% her decision, concedes a source close to the show. It was a breakup. She wasn't happy working on the show, and did that make her fun to work with? No. So everyone decided it would be in the best interests of the show and for all concerned if they parted ways, it just wasn't a good fit. So I think that there's, I think that that's a good point. So she's miserable on the set. She's making everybody on the show miserable. So let's just part ways with her. Now, interestingly, I wonder how this will affect her ability to get work in the future, particularly on television series. So, you know, this is going to spread around the industry. Here comes old Ruby Rose. Oh, she's hard to work with. I wonder if this will affect her ability to get work in the future. It's kind of a bad look. She should have just stuck it out for season two because I'm sure it's going to get canceled. <laughs> I'm almost 100% positive that this show will be canned after season two. But who knows? HBO Max was willing to fund more Doctor Who, 
So <laughs> should they could be willing to piss away money on this too. I guess we'll find out in the future, right? I think we're going to get at least maybe, maybe season three. Uh, but I think it's safe to assume season two will probably be the last one. Though who knows? In their statement, they're committed to the future of the show, <laughs> which is really funny. After you look at the ratings for season one, how low can this show go when it comes to getting viewers? I think that's the real question. It's going to be fun to watch the ratings for this show go down, particularly with a new actress. Oh, I can't wait to find out who they're going to pick for that. That We should know that within a week or two, I think. They will, they will announce a new actress because they have to start getting things ready for the next season. So anyway... According to an insider, Rose, coming off of the features John Wick Chapter 2 and The Meg, was distressed by the long hours demanded of a lead TV role and did not acclimate well to life in Vancouver, where the show shoots. Batwoman marked the actress's first full-time series gig following her debut as the Scarlet Knight in Arrow vs. December 2018 Elseworlds crossover and a short arc on Orange is the New Black. So... She didn't like living in Vancouver. This is why I think, this is why I do think that this was a mutual decision. I don't think that she was directly fired. I think that at some point during season one, Ruby Rose and some executives sat down and tried to see if they could make this work or not. And voice and and Ruby Rose voiced her concerns. They voiced some of their concerns and decided that they would both part ways. I don't think she was directly fired, but it still looks bad for her. And, you know, we'll see what happens if she gets new work or not. I think she probably will, but I don't think you'll see her working on a television series again. Uh, reps for Warner Brothers and the CW declined to comment for the story. Rose's spokesman, meanwhile, could not be reached for comment. In a joint statement released Tuesday, uh, Warner Brothers Television confirmed that Rose's iconic role would be recast with another uh, certain group. We thank Ruby for her contributions to the success of our first season and wish her all the best. The two companies said the studio and network are firmly committed to Batwoman's second season and a long-term future, and we, along with the show's talented creative team, look forward to sharing its new direction, including the casting of a new lead actri actress and a member of that community in the coming months. And this is where I've said that they've painted themselves in a corner, and it's going to be funny to see how people react because... That community that they're trying, they're trying to appease the the NPC community here a little bit. And they're not going to be happy unless this new actress meets all of their demands. That's why I think that it's going to be really funny to watch the casting and how and how they react to this. So anyway, uh, Batwoman Season 2, like many returning CW series, is not slated to premiere until January 2021. Rose landed the role of Kate Kane. Batwoman in August 28th, following a brief search for an out uh, community actress to portray the famously into chicks vigilante. But within a week, Rose had to shut off comments on her Instagram after a wave of backlash. And that's what I was talking about uh, because she's, uh, from what I understand, you know, into dudes and, and, and chicks at the same time, you know, that's not fully out. Uh, they need her to only be into the ladies, and that was kind of the big backlash, which was, in my opinion, really stupid. What does it matter? As long as she plays the character right, who cares? But it doesn't matter. Uh, who she's into in real life seems to affect how she'll be able to play this character. I really hate this, you know, this segregating that people want to do when it comes to playing characters, to writing stories, uh, whether she's into to chicks or not shouldn't matter. It should be about how she plays the character. The character is what's supposed to matter here, but it doesn't matter to these people. It's never mattered. So at least we now know what happened. I think that it's nice to have some closure on this. Uh, the, next, <laughs> the next time we talk about this show, I think we'll probably be on the casting because I you know there's going to be people that are upset about it, so that would be fun to laugh at and talk about. The next thing up that I just wanted to point out is we have someone throwing their hat in here in the ring. We've got Billy Etchner here. Uh, he's throwing his hat in the uh, he's throwing his hat in the ring. Says why can't he play Batwoman? 
just finished cleaning my apartment again, so can I play Batwoman? And then uh, he retweeted himself and said, any update on this? Just disinfected the soles of my shoes. Would love to play Batwoman now if possible. Thanks. I just thought that was kind of funny. A little humor. Anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below. What do you think about all this? Uh, do you think Billy would be a good Batwoman? Uh, how do you feel? Do you think there's more to this story? Do you not believe the mutual breakup? I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Also, if you would, throw a like up. Uh, make sure you're still subscribed. Share the video. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now. And they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that. And subscribe if you're new.